What's up guys, welcome back to Smarly Likes It's Spicy. I'm your host in your cook Smarly. If you're new, welcome to my channel and I really hope you like all the recipes that'll be going on here. That's, that's all I can say. We're making kish today because it's a great brunch. Please ignore him in the back. And um, mm. I'm making uh, with, with grilled vegetables uh, and uh, rapini. I really hope you guys like the taste of rapini because it's a little bit of a bitter um, vegetable. And I'm also putting salami on top of that. So if you have any questions, text me on my Instagram. It's more like it's spicy. And if you have any recommendations, please leave it in my comment. And I'll make sure to read them. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. I will start with the rapini which is one of my favorite vegetable but I wouldn't recommend to everyone to use this because it's a bitter vegetable and not everyone would be able to handle a bitter taste in their um, quiche so if you don't want to use it you know it's fine it's not gonna change much in the recipe or you can boil it for a longer time so you can take so the water can take the bitter taste out of it so I'll take the better part to use in my uh, quiche which is just the leaves and I'll later use scissors because I realized that it's a better and smarter idea but I just kept using my hands for those things because that's the Haitian in me. So I will just go on and uh, cut the vegetables and I'll boil them. I decided to boil my vegetables before I saute them. That would help with the bitter taste. It will wear it out a little bit. So you could do that for five minutes, let it boil, and then you'll see the water being a little bit greenish and you can take it out. Um, this is the bitterness that's got starting to wear out. And I'm just gonna say this now as the rapini is boiling. I will not give you guys an exact recipe for this quiche because not everyone uses a lot of spices or some people don't use any spices at all. So I will just tell you what I decided to put in it, but I won't have to give you exactly you no know, one teaspoon or one tablespoon. I'll just give you an idea of what you can use. So my uh, rapini is done. I will just strain it a little bit and take the water out. I will put some olive oil on another pan so I can saute my vegetables. I'm just checking if my oil is hot enough and I will put the rapini so I can saute them. To add a bit more flavor to the rapini, I will use some uh, chili flakes, chicken broth, salt, and garlic. I will put the garlic probably last because I don't want it to burn too much. I'll put the chicken broth and uh, this, the chicken broth brings a great flavor to any vegetable you saw things. So that's always a great idea to put it in. And I'll put some salt. From beginning to end, this rapini takes about 7 minutes to saute and be cooked truly. Really. So at like f 5 minutes into the process, I'll add my garlic. And see how it reduced to nothing from beginning to end? That's when I know it's done. So I'll set this aside so I can uh, go on with my next process. I'm going to use two other vegetables to add in my quiche because a quiche with no vegetables, it's boring. So I'm going to cut some cherry tomatoes and mushrooms so I can grill them because this will bring a nice color to the top of the quiche and a nice flavor of course. I will also cut um, like four or five slices of hot pepper just so I can get an inch of um, hot flavor in there. If you don't have a grill, you can also use a pan or you can roast them in the oven. So I will just spray my grill with the oil spray and put my vegetables in there to grill, which is going to be a little bit of a mess, but you guys enjoy it. 
grilling your vegetables is just a great way to let the vegetables stand out in its flavor because the water comes out it's almost dehydrated and everything you taste is just the flavor of the actual fruit so i really like grilling my vegetables now let's switch again to my other station i will crack the eggs which is the main ingredient in the quiche i will crack i think i i'm going to crack 14 eggs and i will beat them and put my other ingredients and the spices you guys probably don't realize how satisfying it is to crack 14 eggs and none of the yolk broke i'm just super proud so let me have my moment so i'll just make sure the egg is well beaten before i put my other vegetables so it can be easier to mix it all together so i got my rapini i got my grilled vegetables ready everything is set i will just add some uh, spices into my egg because i'm haitian and i cannot eat without spices i decided to use some oregano um some paprika a lot of paprika pepper salt and i cut it some vegetables which is onions and uh, peppers but you don't need to do that it's it's up to you i just decided while i was waiting for my vegetables to be grilled that i would add that and i'll just mix that all together and put my grilled vegetables and my rapini i will not put everything because i want to leave some of it to put on the top so the colors can stand out you guys might like me a little bit less for this because i went for a already made pie crust instead of making my own but it's just easier to do it like this and it would come down to almost the same thing so i'm going to use a frozen pie crust i will put the vegetables on top of the egg that i beaten and i also put some parmesan on top of that so the color can again stand out and i'll cut my uh, salami after put it on top of that I use the spicy salami for this but you can use any cold cut or sausage that you'd like. My oven is at 350 Fahrenheit right now. I'll leave it for 15 minutes to be cooked and that will be it. This is the result after 15 minutes of being in the oven. It looks so nice and the sun is doing it a great favor. So if you decide to um, try this recipe, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to repost it. That's it for the recipe. You may go. Just kidding. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, if you have any questions, text me on my Instagram. It's more like said spicy, and I'll make sure to read and answer to each one of them. So thank you guys, and see you next time.